Hey, welcome back. I wanted to do another video here. This is on Ripple, and uh, this is mostly negative. Actually, it's probably all going to be negative. I really dislike this coin. Um, I have for a while. I probably should have done this video a while ago. I did a whole bunch of research on it uh, a few weeks back, and I should have done it while it was fresh in my head, but here I am. I'm going to do it now. Uh, here's pretty much all the reasons I don't like Ripple. Uh, one, it is, uh, for the most part, it is a centralized network. Um, and what I mean by uh, being centralized is you can't, they don't have a, a mineable pool, so, so nobody can mine uh, using the GPUs or ASICs or anything to complete the transactions. So I'm not sure where their actual, uh, you know, headquarters are located and where they do that, but it makes it very vulnerable for an attack. Um, so that's the number reason, number one reason I don't like it, is because it goes against the whole point of having cryptocurrencies, and that's to have a decentralized network. Um, that uh, you know that, that, that you don't have to worry about getting attacked, or you know you do have to worry about attacks a little bit with uh, with it being decentralized still, but not nearly as much. Um, and that gets into the whole thing with the ASICs and there being a majority of ASICs you know mining on in one area uh, that could uh, potentially get attacked. Um, but that's another another issue. But so here we go. There's uh, another reason I don't like this is well it is pretty much backed by all major banks. Um, a lot of these banks uh, are what created this coin. That's the whole reason that they they came they came together and they made a coin because cryptocurrency was taken away uh, from them. So they decided to make their own coin. Um, and I mean, it is what it is. Banks, you know, they're not they're, they're they're a necessary evil. You need them. You need them to be able to get loans and and all that. And I understand that. Um, but the whole thing about uh, uh, cryptocurrencies in general, uh, specifically Bitcoin, when it was created, was because banks were failing. Uh, There's banks and and all that, so that now the bankers got into it. So that's another negative aspect of it. And the third aspect, which I really don't like as well, is there is a huge, huge total supply. Huge total supply. Now. That's not necessarily a bad thing, I and mean, we've gone over that before. Um, and look, the weird thing about Ripple is the more that it's used, the less that supply becomes. So anytime there's a transaction done, a little tiny percent of that uh, XRP or Ripple, whatever token, goes away. A lot of moves, it's gone. Um, so they don't have, like what happens when you start running to the low end of it? There's going to be a point in which people are just going to say, okay, well, I don't want Ripple anymore uh, because it's eventually going to run out. So what you're doing is you're creating uh, an aspect where you um, decentifies holding the cryptocurrency. Maybe not right now. Right now, it would be, you know, it would uh, it'd encourage that. It would want, you would want to hold on to it because, well, you're decreasing the supply and increasing demand potentially. But there's going to be a point where it completely does a 180 and flips around. Um, so for that reason, I strongly believe Ripple is like a Ponzi scheme. Um, because it's another one of those things where, you know, they can cre and they can create it at any time. The people who own Ripple can just create Ripple at any time. Like right now, the circulating supply is $38 billion, right? So if they're, they're like, oh, we need more Ripple to pay for our jets or whatever, they can just create that at any time. And people who were naive enough not to do any research and didn't know that and bought this coin, uh, even when it was up to $3, I had people asking me, should I buy Ripple, should I buy Ripple? And I said, no, hold off and wait, because I honestly, I just, I don't like the coin. Now, it didn't come to a complete and utter destructive end like I thought it was going to, but it did drop down like a lot, a lot more than most other cryptocurrencies, and that's because it ran up way more than most other cryptocurrencies. It went up way, it went up way above what it was worth. Um, I just, the technology behind it just isn't good. You know, there's the one good positive aspect is it is really, really fast. And it has a lot of backing. So that, on one coin, the people who have back it, I don't necessarily think are good to be into the crypto space. Um, but there's a lot of institutional money into it. And that is why it blew up as much as it did. But for the longevity of it, I don't, I don't see it. Um, so maybe you can make a couple quick bucks on uh, riding a wave on this coin for an investment standpoint. 
I do see there probably being another really shortly uh, a big spike in price again. I'm sure it's going to happen, uh, but I don't know exactly when. I would, if I were to say, I would predict within the next month or two, there will be actually probably less than a month or two. Probably within the next three weeks, there'll probably be a huge spike in Ripple. But on the same side, it's not something I would hold long, and I don't necessarily encourage short trading because. Well, more often than not, you're just going to pay more in fees and you're never going to actually uh, see any of the profits. So just take that and uh, make sure you do your due diligence and research your own. Uh, and let me know what you guys think about this coin, because I had some people that really, really enjoy this coin. And uh, we, you know, I've gone toe-to-toe -to -toe with them before, and I like doing that kind of thing because it opens up your mind. It lets you uh, kind of see both sides of the coin. So leave a comment below, and don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks, guys. Bye.